How did the ruler of one little island end up with a castle as grand as this? How did the ruler of one little island end up... That uncool... The city's nice enough, but the castle's filled with some right creeps. The city's nice enough, but the castle's filled with some right creeps. Entry is forbidden to all but knights. Leave immediately. That um... Seren's flashed her fangs, eh? She excels at making trouble. By the way, I think Dagron's all done with the preparations. He should still be on the second floor, near the top of the stairs. We finished sorting out the details. Are you ready, Zael? Right. Time for work. Don't let me down. Lady Callista's engagement was to be celebrated with an extravagant ball. Nobles and aristocrats gathered from all over, not wishing to miss such an occasion. Zale, we're on duty. Shut your mouth. But there's almost nothing to do. Well, you better get used to it. This might not be a one-off. If we play our cards right, we'll be attending these events regularly. Come on. Do you really believe that? Just pay attention. You don't want to embarrass yourself when the time comes. If we can impress people now, then becoming knights might not be a fantasy. Please, Zale, this is important. Hey, take a look. That's our boss, Count Harganen. He was the previous Count's younger brother, had no title of his own. But the previous Count suddenly died some years ago. His daughter, Callista, should have succeeded him. But she's a woman, and at the time she was just a child. So that was when our boss stepped in to be the head of the family. That said, it's not all due to luck. He's got cunning and guile, too. In only a few years, he's expanded his family's power and influence significantly. And that man next to him is Lord Jural, heir to the house of Duke Rambolt. He's the man Lady Callista is going to marry. The House of Rambolt is famous for having Imperial blood in its lineage. But it's a house on the decline. Lord Jural's marriage to the daughter of a mere Count can only be a play for power. They can see that the House of Argonen is on the rise. Lords and ladies, presenting Lady Callista.
Callista. Your beauty knows no bounds. Look at this rose, so lovely. But compared to you, it is but a weed. Now, walk with me. Isn't that... No doubt. It's Lisa. Oh, that's a shock. It's like... She's a completely different person. Zael, nobles are out of our league. All the more so with the Count's niece. Try and forget what happened last night. For both your sakes. Look, there's something wrong with Lady Callista. Where are you going, my muse? I must apologize, Lord Jarrell. I feel somewhat woozy. Wait, I... <laughs> such a delicate flower, no doubt nervous. It is her first time at such a magnificent ball, you see. Looks like... Oi! You! Get back to your post! Let me pass. I need to go outside. What are you yapping on about? Get back to your post! Oh, boy. Hey. He said he needed to go outside, didn't he? There was a change to the roster. Weren't you paying attention? I have heard nothing of the sort. That's odd. Look, come with me and we'll go and sort this out. I cannot leave my position unguarded. Well said. Zael, new orders. Guard this spot until we get back. Lisa. S sorry, I mean, Lady Callista, right? Zale, why are you here? Yeah, my fault for not mentioning it earlier. Wait, where are my manners? My services have been contracted by the Count, as a hired guard, milady. You're a mercenary. Then it seems we were both hiding something. I suppose we're even. And please, don't talk to me in such a formal way. But, milady. It's okay. Nobody's listening. You have my special permission. I am truly grateful for your kind words, milady. <laughs> Seriously, you're the Count's niece? I gotta say, I was surprised. But it does explain a bit about last night. Was I that strange? No. I just thought a smelly ogre had disguised himself as a human. <gasps> what do you mean, himself? <laughs> <laughs> say, Callista, are you okay? You look like you were gonna cry. What? If you don't want to get married, you should just refuse the offer. But my uncle would never allow it. He aims to put Jural in a position of power within the Empire, then use his influence from behind the scenes. And he's willing to do absolutely anything to achieve that goal. Anything. 
When my father passed away, my uncle inherited his title and land. This place changed a lot after that. All who opposed my uncle disappeared. Issues which were discussed openly started to be resolved in secret, behind closed doors. People started dying under mysterious circumstances. Sometimes I even wonder about my father's sudden passing. But if I oppose my uncle, I dread to think what will happen to everyone. I don't have a choice. But, Callista, surely you can't be... Of course I'm not happy with it. How could I be? They watch me, even when I sleep. It's impossible to get a single moment's peace. Then I wake up the next morning and hear that someone's died. Just another victim of my uncle's ambitions, no doubt. I feel so weak and powerless. Like I have to put up with it until I die. I don't know what I should do. <laughs> Lord Jirau, over here! Ah, here is my muse. Callista. An opera without the leading lady makes for a rather poor show, do you not think? Are you trying to embarrass me, my kitten? No, I'm sorry, it's just... Yes, yes, never mind. Now, come with me! Lord Jural, please wait! Just who are you? A mercenary? My lord, Lady Callista has informed me that she isn't feeling well. Please let her rest for a while. I'll do no such thing. She is my betrothed. What I do with her is my business. Stand aside. If she's your fiance, shouldn't you treat her a bit better than that? Zale! What did you say? Just what are your intentions towards Callista, you cur? It seems you are enjoying your private little chat. Lord Jirau, please stop. That's not how it was at all. Why do you defend such a lowly wretch? Oh, I see. Callista, how could you let yourself be seduced by this commoner? No, you're mistaken. I will not tolerate you openly wooing my betrothed. Draw your sword, you filthy dog. What's wrong? Are you scared, you craven cur? What? Just now I heard screams. What are you babbling about? Face me, you worm. Quiet! It's the correct! What? That's impossible! Why are the Gurak here? No! Look out! What's that? Lord Jarrell, I'll hold them off here. You take Lady Callista somewhere safe. Someone, please! Save me! <laughs> Callista! Stand back! There's so many of them. Zale, what do we do? Well, I am a mercenary after all. It's my job to fight them off. Then I shall help too. Are you okay, Zale? Here, I'll see to your wounds. Thanks. Is this the same magic that Narania uses? When it comes to using magic, no one can rival the House of Arganon. Really? But... The Garak haven't attacked us in decades. Why now? Kalista, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. I'm going to fight too. What? I told you, my magic use is without peer. Okay. Just take care. Right. General Astor! Sertharius! 
Lady Callista, I am relieved you are well. I think it would be more prudent to worry about the Baratheon. <laughs> you hear that, Therese? We cannot lose this battle. As you command, General. I can fight too. Do not desert us, mercenary. Of course not. I'm at you! General, this area is secure. We should protect the Count. Quite. Make haste. You there, lad. Protect Lady Callista. Our duty is to protect Count Arganon and Lord Gerard. I am Astar. What's your name, lad? Zayo, sir. A fine name. And that strange power of yours. Can I rely on it? Yes, sir. I can control it. A good answer. Just do not let it become a crutch. Well then, Master Zael, I leave Lady Callista in your care. Yes, sir. We can't go down, so let's head up. I'm seeing a different side to you now, but I guess it's the same for you. The Guraka here already. Be careful, there's more of them. What's wrong? This is my chamber. Do you think it's all right if I get changed quickly? Get changed? Now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, please, wait outside. Okay, all done. We can take the walkway beyond this door. No time to lose. Right. Callista, let's move. Help me! I can't beat them by myself! Thanks for 
you're rescuing me. But please look after Lady Callista. It's still dangerous. We just need to get through the Great Hall. And we're outside. King? You're the king of the Garak? Indeed. Know that I am Zemzak, king of the Garak. King or not, I won't let you get away with this! It ends right now! <laughs> <laughs> If you so much as lay a finger on Lady Callista... You're the ones who should escape. You can't hope to beat him. <laughs> Did you see Callista? No. When I arrived, it was just you here. Damn it. Hey, take it easy. Everyone in the castle is looking for Callista. Let them handle it. No. I can't. I have to protect her. Hey, wait up. What's gotten into you? Callista's been kidnapped, and I couldn't do anything about it. 